Hi, everyone. I found another book in the Let's Get Along series that I'd love to read to you today. It's called It's Great to Keep Calm. Even though this is a book that I think was written for children, I know lots of grown-ups that could use these hints too, including myself. Good morning, class, Miss Clayton said. We're having a sock puppet show today. The class cheered. They'd never had a sock puppet show before. And Miss Clayton added, you'll be making your own sock puppets. The class cheered again. Carly couldn't wait to get started. She loved making art and her parents said she was really good at it. Carly felt certain she was gonna make the best sock puppet in the class. Carly rushed to the table of art supply. She took everything except the sheet that showed how to put the puppet together. See, all the other kids have instructions. Carly thinks she can figure it out. Carly had never made a sock puppet before, but she was sure she didn't need pictures like everyone else. After a few minutes, Carly noticed that her puppet's nose wouldn't stay on. She had to add more and more glue. Then the glue leaked from the sock and got all over her hand. Carly frowned and started over again. Good work, class, called out Miss Clayton. That puppet looks great, Emily, she added. Everyone admired Emily's sock puppet except for Carly. Why doesn't mine look like that, Carly thought. Carly yanked a felt eye off her puppet. It was a mess. There was gooey glue all over the puppet's face, and when she tried to make it talk, the sock stuck to her fingers. Yuck, she said to herself. Carly felt upset. Her palms were sweaty and her heart was beating fast. Everybody else had already finished their sock puppets. Not only that, their puppets looked like they belonged in a show. Harley's looked like a soggy, sticky disaster. She couldn't understand why her puppet had gone so wrong. Some of those sock puppets are pretty cool, aren't they? I like the one that looks like a dragon with sunglasses on. Do you want help, Jack asked. No, Carly yelled in frustration. I can do it by myself. She was upset with everybody, especially herself. It just wasn't fair. Carly tried to pull off the sock and she could, so she could start over, but she pulled too hard and it landed in a wet heap on the floor. Carly stomped on it. I don't want to make a sock puppet anyway, she said. But Carly did want to make a sock puppet. Her eyes filled with hot tears, and then she squeezed her hands into fists. Are you okay, Jack asked. I feel like I'm getting everything wrong today, Carly said. Her shoulders shook. She began to cry. My mom says that if I get upset, I should take deep breaths and give myself a hug, Jack said. Carly tried it. She took some deep breaths and gave herself a hug. After a few minutes, she didn't want to cry so much, and she began to relax. Sorry I yelled at you, Carly told Jack. Well, if you're feeling better, I can help you, Jack said. Even though I yelled, Carly asked. It hurt my feelings, Jack said, but you're still my friend. Everyone loses their temper sometimes. Thanks, Carly said. The friends picked up more supplies, and this time, Carly grabbed an instruction sheet 
And with Jack's help, she made a sock puppet with a proper nose, eyes, and tongue, all in the right places. It looked great. Carly hugged Jack. Thanks for helping me calm down, she said. Now I've got a sock puppet, too. It was almost time for the show, and Carly and Jack went right to the stage. Ready, asked Jack. Ready, said Carly. <laughs> I like the fact that Jack's sock puppet has three eyes. Looks like everyone's clapping for their show. The end. What a great story. I love that Jack taught Carly a few things that his mom taught him about how to help yourself if you're feeling like you need to calm down. Taking deep breaths and give yourself a hug. Even more, I love the fact that Jack and Carly's friendship was so strong that even though Carly wasn't nice to Jack, he forgave her because he understood that everybody loses their temper sometimes and gets frustrated. And as friends, it's really great if we can help one another through those times. I hope you enjoyed this story. I think there's a few more in this series, so I'm going to look for them and read them to you soon. So be sure to come back. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon.